top fragrances for tropical high heat. So I spend most of my year in Thailand, where there's basically only three seasons. Hot, hotter, and wet. And it gets, gets really, really hot. Apparently, summer just began, and they're expecting their second hottest summer ever, which for me means temperatures of up to 39 degrees. That's not too unfamiliar, being an Australian. We get 37. I've had to work fully clothed up north at, in 42 or 43. It is unbelievably hot. In fact, a lot of people wouldn't even bother with fragrances. But I spent a lot of time researching which fragrances work in tropical, humid, high heat. Because a lot of people can only use those for maybe one or two months of the year. I get to use them all year round. As an added bonus, a lot of them tend to be also very good in all the other seasons as well. Okay, so to begin the list. Tropical heat. I'm gonna say this one here is <clears throat> pretty good go-to. Chanel, Allure, Sport, Homesport, O Extreme Parfum Edition. This one's good. You can take it anywhere. It's very, very versatile. And it sticks around for a long time. Uh, what's next? We've got... Next up a bit. Dior Sauvage. EDT. I did a lot of research. And it suggested that the tea is better in tropics. Because it has the more citrusy bergamot freshness projectile uh, flavor to it which I mean I love this smell if I spray it on me and I fall asleep I wake up in the morning and I'm like wow what is that smell and then I try and track it down and it's like you know rubbed off on my pillow or something overnight okay next although a lot of people probably wouldn't have it on their list Masashi Eros this thing is just so powerful. It can last ages and ages, like, you know, eight plus hours. But you probably will get smelled. So if you're in the tropics and you're in close quarters, you know the weight bird, then you will probably just be aware that you're probably gonna smell. I love the smell personally. Next we have Halloween Man. Bought this because it was about half the price of one million and it was supposed to have like a raspberry type of tinge to it um yeah i like it it's really really good and i noticed that people can tell that i'm wearing it when i walk outside which is exactly what i'm going for next i'll speed it up a bit and go two at a time chanel blue great fragrance sprayed it this morning doesn't last very long you're gonna have to keep respraying and respraying and respraying. Next. This is a gem. Super cheap. Robert Roberto Cavallari Uomo Silva. It smells amazing. And even the bird likes it. And uh, it's so cheap. What can, what can I say? I um, can't really describe the smell because I'm not very good at that. Then, as an extra bonus, I'll show you which ones you definitely, definitely don't wear in the tropical heat. This one. I got the sampler, sprayed on my hand. It was, oh, it's actually really nice. I liked it. So I got a small three, uh, 30 mil, sprayed it twice just to prime the pump, had to wash it off. Once I washed it off, it smelled amazing again. But it is not a very nice smell if you're sweating and it's really hot outside. So it's coming with me, but I don't know when I'm going to use it. I might just like prank people with it or something. And then this one here, I just love the smell of this, but I haven't really found that it like performs well in uh, hot in heat, tropical heat. So I like it, but it's still, it's just going to sit there. It's not actually going to be used very much unless I'm like an air conditioned like movie theater or something. I just want to smell nice to go with the movie. Uh, well, that's it. I hope those are some good suggestions as to what to take to the tropics or what to wear in the tropics. 
Um, and I'll leave you with that.